Hey everyone, it's Jared from Drumio, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to hold your drumsticks using matched grip. Now, why do you need to hold your drumsticks properly? And is there a proper way to hold your drumsticks? Well, I would say the only real rule is that you should not hold your sticks in a way where you could cause any sort of injury. And you don't wanna hold your sticks in a way where you're gonna be developing bad habits that could lead to injury. Good stick grip is gonna give you more freedom and fluidity around the drum set. Now, I've had hundreds of drummers come onto Drumio and teach lessons. Each one of those drummers has a different grip. Each one of those drummers will teach you how to hold the sticks slightly differently. So I just wanna preface what I'm about to teach you with that and say this is my opinion and this is how I do it. So take it for what it's worth. Now we're also gonna go through what are the different positions that you can actually hold the stick. That is Germanic, American, and French. But first, let's just get started on finding our natural hand position. So what I like to do is I drop my hands down by my side, okay? Try and loosen up, okay? Just relax for one second. For one second, can you just relax? Okay, drop your hands by your side. Let it just, let them just kind of dangle. Now try not to think about it. Now talk, I'll talk to Ross. How's it going, Ross? You doing good? I'm great. Yeah, Taylor, you doing good? I'm just relaxing. I'm just relaxing. Okay, then I'm gonna bring up my hands. Now what do you see? Okay, everyone is going to be slightly differently. Everyone is gonna be slightly differently. <laughs> everyone is going to come up in a slightly different position because all of our bodies are different. So now my hands are kind of just dangling. I look, I look like, a, like a little T-Rex or a Velociraptor. <laughs> and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the stick in my hand, just like that. Now when I kind of straighten it out and stop kind of looking like a, a, a T-Rex, this is what I get. And I just kind of set the stick in there. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna find the fulcrum of the drumstick. Okay, the fulcrum of the drumstick is the point at which the stick will receive the most natural rebound. So when I drop this stick onto the snare drum, I'm gonna count how many bounces. So I'm getting eight to 10 bounces. If I hold the stick higher, I'll get less bounces. If I hold the stick farther back, I'll also get less bounces. It's not like holding a stick up here is bad or holding the stick back here is bad. It's just you really wanna utilize rebound when you're playing the drums. So I sometimes hold the stick back here if I'm looking for more power and don't care about the rebound. That's up to you to make that decision, okay? So on these sticks, it's kind of in between the H and the, the flag right there. Okay, now you can choose between different fulcrums. You can choose to have a middle finger fulcrum and use the index finger more as your guide. Or you could choose to kind of have a, a, a fulcrum kind of in between those two. It doesn't work as good and you can't get as much finesse out of the stick. Or you can choose to have this as a fulcrum and just wrap the fingers around it. So basically within the first joint of this index finger. Right, then I wrap my fingers around there. Now, a lot, I've seen some teachers say, you know, you want to be able to fit this stick through here, the soft, fleshy part of the hand, right? And you want to have this space. You don't want the stick being choked, and you don't want the stick um, hitting your wrist like that. I would say a good rule is try and make the stick line up with this soft, fleshy part. I love that term, soft, fleshy, okay? <laughs> you can do the stick test if you want. Um, but occasionally the stick moves. I mean, this is an instrument where we're moving around, it's very physical, it's going to change positions and we'll talk about that in a minute, okay? So, if this is my fulcrum, I wrap the fingers around and I hold the stick in a very relaxed way. Now, what do we do to make this matched grip? We match it. We are now playing matched grip, all right? So once you got this, you can just kind of play around the kit and kind of get a sense for how it feels. Understand that the gap in this, between your thumb and index finger up top is going to move here and there, okay? As you do different things, if you wanna go really fast, um, like this, 
You know, when I play really fast, only utilizing fingers, um, generally that opens up, and you'll see my fingers actually extend. So as you move around the kit and do different things, it's going to change. So there can be a little bit of a gap, but occasionally you might close it up because you're looking for a little bit more power, you're hitting harder and you want some control. What is most important is that you do not do the death grip, where you're just like, you know, gripping it so tight and every time you hit the, the cymbals, there's just no rebound or movement. I'm sure I look ridiculous doing that. Okay, so you have your fulcrum, you wrap your fingers around there, it's nice and relaxed, you're chill, we're having a good time. Now let's talk about the different positions. So the first position is the German position. This means palms down. The German position is very great for getting a lot of power out of the motion. So. The second position is the American position. All we do here is we just turn it slightly. So this opening kind of shoots up that way. You see, this is your rocket launcher. It's going over there. Same on both sides. American position. This you'll find is going to be one of your base positions most likely. I don't see a lot of people playing exclusive German um, or exclusive French, which is next, which is thumbs up. Thumbs up, you saw me play some fast uh, finger control. If you're doing stuff on the ride, intricate stuff, you'll play thumbs up. If you're trying to get a softer stroke, you'll notice how the hand almost sits underneath the stick. And that's where French grip is really good because you can play on the snare, you can play really nice and quietly and get a lot of control. So it's just important to be aware of those different positions. You'll notice as my body moves, I naturally will turn my hand, right? But you can, if you don't want to turn your hand, all of a sudden you're over here and now your elbow kind of comes out a little bit. And you want to play in a German grip, you have a lot of power on that floor tom, that's where you have to kind of make those adjustments. But like I said, the only real rule here is to don't play in a way that's going to cause you any sort of injury because this is an instrument where we do things in repetition. We play on the hi-hat, on the ride, constantly. So it's important that you're not doing anything that's gonna hinder your ability to play for the rest of your life. So that is how to hold your sticks using matched grip. So now I wanna ask you, when you first started playing drums, did you get a lesson on how to hold your drumsticks, whether that was online or whether that was with your private instructor? Did someone teach you how to hold your drumsticks? Nobody taught me, and I wish they did. Go ahead, leave the comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.